Hello guys, welcome back to Anatomy and Pathology. Today we will be talking about spondylolysis and spondylolysthesis. Let's get right into it. In order to understand these pathologies, we first need to understand the structures that are involved when looking at these two pathologies. Here we have a lumbar spine diagram. In between our vertebra, we have facet joints that help us connect these vertebrae together. As you can see, we have a superior facet joint and an inferior facet joint between the vertebral bodies and spinous processes of each level. We can also see that there is a bridging connection between the facet joints, known as the pars interarticularis. Now that we have explored the anatomy in question, let's take a look at the pathologies. So what is spondylolysis? Spondylolysis is when there is a stress fracture of the pars interarticularis. In turn, this is a fracture of the bridge that is connecting the two facet joints together. Spondylolysis is also commonly referred to as a pars defect. If we look at the diagram on the right hand side, we can see the red sharp jagged lines which represent the fracture of the pars. This pathology is most commonly seen in the L5 vertebra and it is also very common in athletes who are involved in high level sporting activities. In looking at spondylolysthesis, it is important to note that this can be caused as a result of spondylolysis. Simply put, spondylolysthesis is when the affected vertebra shifts forward out of place and out of alignment. This cause of spondylolysthesis can be congenital or it could be due to a lack of stability at the joint which could be caused by spondylolysis. It may also be caused by a traumatic process or injury. This pathology may cause pain, stiffness and in the most severe cases it could even lead to weakness or paralysis. Now let's take a look at some radiographic examples of both of these processes. On the left, we have an image of spondylolysis, where we can see that there is a fracture of the L4 pars interarticularis. On the right hand side, we can see an example of spondylolysthesis, whereby the L5 vertebra has shifted forward out of alignment. We can see this by measuring up the alignment with the sacral bone underneath it. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope you were able to learn a lot about the two topics that we covered today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful and see you in the next video.